In the consumption economy of today, food is everywhere in Europe. We would rather have too much food than too little on our plate, without thinking about all the consequences of this resulting gigantic amount of food waste. Furthermore, the many small gardens in the neighborhoods around Europe also produce tons of organic waste by gardening or mowing your lawn. The Bio-Based Industries Consortium, BYC, estimated that 60 million tons of food waste and 55 million tons of garden waste was produced in the European Union in 2020. A minority of this waste is collected and eventually used for added value purposes. It's clear that we have to find a way to add value to this overload of waste. Reuse and recycling are the most favored options of waste management, after waste prevention. Technologies that generate electricity are rising. However, alternative treatments can produce added value products. This is the aim of our projects. Bio-waste contains higher levels of organic materials such as starches, proteins and lipids. Especially anaerobic digestion is an environmentally viable and cost-effective treatment. Therefore, anaerobic sludge is used. Microorganisms utilize the waste to grow and produce more added value products. They interact with each other carrying out the four stages to convert waste eventually in methane. During the hydrolysis, the organic polymers are broken down into simpler organic monomers. Then, in the acidogenesis and acetogenesis, the components are converted into volatile fatty acids or VFAs, the intermediate products which are interesting. The last stage of this process, the methanogenesis, converts the valuable VFAs into methane and hydrogen gas, which can produce electricity. To prevent the formation of methane, the anaerobic bacteria are put in an acidic environment with pH 6. Ultimately, the VFAs can be used as carbon source in biological denitrification, production of biodiesel and synthesis of complex biopolymers. The aim of this project is to determine which composition of food and yard waste yields the highest VFA output. First, a basic pretreatment with sodium hydroxide is done to accelerate the succeeding anaerobic digestion. Then the fermentation takes place for 14 days. We can conclude that pure food waste yields the highest VFA concentration. A certain amount of yard waste can be added for economic considerations. To use the VFAs in other processes, they need to be extracted from the mixture. Liquid-liquid extraction is a commonly used and well understood technique in the chemical industry. Simulation programs as Aspen Plus can help us to retrieve an appropriate solvent. This subject has a lot of potential, certainly if you think of the global warming. The waste is not converted into carbon dioxide or methane, which are greenhouse gases. Numerous products can be derived from intermediate components of the anaerobic digestion. This gives us an alternative perspective for organic waste management.